Hello. Hey everyone. It's me, Lauren from Color the Kitty. I'm here tonight to do a little bit of Color the Kitty, colored pencils, color by numbers. <laughs> so here we go. Let's just get started. So here's what's on my desk. And I, I have this on an uh, angle easel because it's easier for me to color. But here is the over... Actually, let me show you. Let me pull this back so you can see the overall image, roughly, is what I've been working on for a while. I think it's a wolf. <laughs> so let's pull this back in. So it, it's a color by number sheet from the book Color Quest. And if you look very closely... You see all a bunch of triangles. Most of them have numbers corresponding to the color code here. And I've worked out for a little while. So it's only got really five colors, but I've got one or two extra colors in the mix. So I'm just going to pull up my coloring tools. Because I keep them in a baggie for when I'm not fully focused. I'm just going to quickly put them in order on my desk. Along with a couple other items. Da, 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 da. Let me get sorted here. And I'll tell you what the colors are. Alright. I'm as sorted as I can get. Okay, so the colors for tonight, I'm going to pull that back a bit. Is for, Number one is black. Which is a Stadler Peacock, as I call it. It's almost depleted. And then I've been mixing it with... Whoops. A gray that I dropped right into my lap <laughs> is this kids made modern gray I've been mixing it with which looks like a brown kind of color but it is a gray just to kind of get the black a little bit of a different feel and then I have here a very small pencil is another Stadler peacock uh, triangular it's their gray which is almost depleted and I have it paired with this Derwent pencil extender which helps considerably with trying to... How do you color with a little itty bitty pencil? You attach it to one of these and it makes it significantly longer and easier to hold. My next color on here is a craze, crazy art, craze art, whatever you want to call it. Warmer gray as the next color. And then here is a little itty bitty pencil and that's the only bit of blue that seems to be in the picture for the eyes. Um, this is a Kids Made Modern and I don't remember the color, but I want to say cobalt would be the color. And then lastly, I have a rose art blue gray for what was to be the top of the page here for whatever weird blue gray color. So there we go. That's the colors for this video. So then I've just been going across, 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 filling this as I go. So last I left off was there. So there is color number two. So that's this little itty bitty gray. I'm gonna give it a quick sharpen and hope I can make it through the video without needing to go find a new color. If I do, I do. So what I'll do is I'll do a row or two across, hopefully not super long. So I just gave that a nice sharpie point. The sharpener I used is a Stadler metal sharpener, which these are awesome. So then I'm just going to put it on the extender and adjust my lights because I've got some shadows happening. And essentially that triangle is only one triangle and it's a two. And I'm just going to color it. First, kind of lightly shade or tint it in, I guess, depending on your terminology. And then I have, I've been doing two different light flows. So right down the center is dividing. So if it's on the left side of the center, the light is coming this way. If it's on the right side, it's coming that way, if that makes any sense. However, there's only one face, this triangle facing the light source, which is the top. So leave that more bare, darken the other sides kind of smooth it out that way the top you can kind of see the top of that triangle is a bit lighter and then I'm bringing in a colorless blender which has yeah it's got some color on the tip but that's not so bad just to kind of burnish that gray color 
and there we go there's that spot done so the next one on the list is three which is the warmer gray from crazy art my regular sharpener is the prismacolor sharpener and the blades are swapped out quite regularly so I'll give that a quick sharpen and same issue because because again it's on the left side of the center because that is the center right there just kind of make the outline shade in a little but yes I do highly encourage if you have an easel use it if you don't have an easel that's got a backing there's ways around that you can get a magnetic board you can get a clipboard I seriously highly encourage using an easel this one is a box set that actually came from Michael so it was a gift from family hey Debbie just do a little bit of coloring the next spot is number three again give it a light light tint I guess and then just keep repeating the steps so this is my at home project I have another project on the go for when I'm not at home next spot is number two the Staedtler gray because these sheets are really really big like they're they're really huge so I leave them at home because otherwise they're a little hard to transport and I've just been lately just going through one by one working on these wonderful sheets not around with the extender, not extender, um, blender. <laughs> Getting all my terminology, meh. So then over here, it's white, 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 white. And then we have a thing happening here, which I need to sharpen that pencil. So first, I'm just going to draw out the outline so I know where I'm going. Bring in a little more lighting. And occasionally smooth across any pieces of pencil or debris from the pencil or anything. Which now I need to sharpen it again because the tip broke a little. Alright. Then make sure three 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 make sure I <laughs> broke it again make sure I follow along on where I'm going I like color my numbers because it takes the guesswork out of what colors do I need it tells me the colors and it's up to me to make it look good So just working through the lines all right so I've got that whole section it's just this color so I'm just going to lightly put in some color nothing fancy they say don't go like a circular motion like this it makes it look less harsh I just tend to go for it with the lines <laughs> whichever your preferences for coloring All right, so I've got that lightly sheeted in. And then come back. So up here will be darker. And just kind of work it out. And then along this bottom will be dark as well. And then Make sure I can still be on camera. <laughs> and then down here. That way anything on this side is lighter. Is kind of what I'm going for. Which is a weird look that I'm doing with this picture. But I'm like, yeah, I'll try it today. 
Dry they say don't have like too many light sources, but I'm like I want two in this. To me it's like I don't always have to follow the rules. I can just make it however I want to make the project. Because I got way too much light happening from my likes tonight. Meaning my room light. So it's a little hard for me to see. Alright, and then I have a piece of paper underneath because I tend to make a mess all the time. And that's my stamping sheet. So I'm going to come back with my colorless blender. And just burnish over all that niceness. Which it does change the look of it a little. It doesn't do a lot. Another alternative, if you don't have a colorless blender, is a white pencil will kind of do the trick as well. But for this project, I do not want a white pencil so much. The cheaper whites will work effective as a, as a burnishing, but a premium white, like this one, actually lightens that section. So I didn't want too much light. Okay, so then I go way over here. I've got number three again. And then we will have completed a row. Alright, so based on this, three, 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 three. Okay. So in this case, the only light source is on the top. So then along the sides, the other three, the other two sides technically, because it's a triangle. Alright, and there's that shaded in. Come back with the blender. And I'm not so worried about it accidentally picking up other colors on the sheet, because my tip is kind of discolored, but I'm like, eh. Kind of gives it some character if it does pick up a little more than it should. All right, and then that is it. That is tonight's project. So what if I turned it? Actually, let me push that back so you can see the side view <laughs> of this project. So that's what I've been working on. So really cool. Alrighty. Well, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, follow, share, subscribe. All those fun buttons would really appreciate the support and I will be posting tonight's videos onto the YouTube and I'll be back next week with um hmm I do I'll have new paper pumpkin kit by then but that would be awesome if not I'll be doing another round of paper pumpkin with what I have existing or something else entirely and it won't be coloring what's the next theme Depending on if I don't change my list, which is drawing of my dear friend. Alrighty. So there. Well, thank you everyone for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.